Hello, dragonflies. So, uh, Miss Amanda has been really, really, really using my thinking brain. I've been trying to figure out some really awesome ways to kind of help with our fine motor skills and how we hold our pencils and our pins and our markers and all of that. And um, Miss Amanda had some great ideas. I did a little bit of research, which means I went looking for some information. And um, I found some great things that I want to share with your bigger people today. Um, so the first thing I want to share is when, um, first thing we need to understand is that kids, um, until they're about mm, six or seven or so, the, thing, the bones in the hand are not completely fused like they are in ours. So it can be very hard to hold on to something with that three point grip. But with practice and uh, muscle memory, we can learn how to do that. So when we hold a pencil, you can see we hold it in a three point grip. See how these two fingers are not really, they're not doing anything, right? They're just kind of sitting there, right? Well, when we first start out, sometimes we start like this. Sometimes we start like this. Sometimes we are like this. That's not very comfortable, right? So what I want you to do is I'm going to show you some tips on how we can practice our muscle memory for how to hold our pencil, okay? So I'm going to tilt my camera. And as you can see, Miss Amanda has some buttons here. You can do pennies. Um, pennies probably work even better than some of these buttons, but this is all Miss Amanda has right now. Um, and I'm doing various sizes because what I'm about to show you was kind of mind blowing to Miss Amanda when she saw this. So a really cool and neat way to practice our fine motor skills is to have your child uh, pick up something flat. So it can be pennies. It can be, um, I mean, really anything kind of hard and flat. I don't know what you have at home that could counteract with this, but if you need something like this, please let me know. And demonstrate to your child picking up and putting in their hand, picking up and putting in their hand, picking up and putting in their hand. So using the same hand to pick up the items. And this is something that it seems easy enough, right? As adults, we can pick up and just hold in our hand, but it's hard to adjust the fingers and think about the muscle memory it must take to hold all of that and pick up at the same time. Um, so it's just a great tool to just put out something flat and demonstrate and then tell them, okay, now it's your turn. Can you pick up one and put it in the palm of your hand? Now hold it. Use your, you can show them with the three fingers that you used to hold a pencil. Now pick up the next one. Put it in the palm of your hand, hold it. Now the next one. And you can continue doing this and just keep practicing and make it a game. See how many they can hold in their hand. Um, so that's a really awesome tool there. The next one I have is holding something in their hand. So if you give them, um, say, a small toy or like a cotton, couple of cotton balls so they can hold it in their hand and then ask them to grab their pencil. And what that's going to do is it's going to naturally make them hold it in this three point grip because they're holding something in their hand. So they're not going to be able to hold, you know, and write, you know, it's going to just naturally kind of push it in that direction. So that's another great thing to kind of show. Um, the last thing that I want to demonstrate and um, I've got to figure out a more um, safer way of doing this. And I, I think I have an idea, but I have a tack here. And as you can see, to hold this tack, I have to hold my hands really close, right? So what you can do is you can, um, and I'm going to send some little needles and I'll be showing that. Um, they're called, uh, they're called uh, plastic big sewing needles and they're made for kids to learn how to sew, but also really good for fine motor skills. And so what um, you can do is take something small like this that you can kind of make a hole in the paper and make dots like with their letters. And then you can poke the holes in and they're having to hold it with those three fingers, right? So it's again, it's another tool to 
um, kind of muscle memory and practice just with the three fingers it takes to hold a pencil pen marker. Um, so these are just a couple of the ways I wanted to kind of show um, ways to practice at home since we're not in the classroom. Um, another great way is your hand on top of their hand and kind of guiding them, um, especially if they're just starting out. Um, but any marks they make on the paper, praise it. You know, even if it's, if they're not quite writing their name, but they write the first letter, awesome. They have written their name. They're, they're on the right direction, they're on the right path. Um, so just praise it and keep practicing. It takes time, it takes repetition. Uh, have them help you, if you make a grocery list, have them help you make a grocery list. If you make a list of anything, have them help you write it. Give them a piece of paper to write next to you. Show them how to write the words. Demonstrate that, show how you hold a pencil. Just really modeling and talking it out they're going to get exposed to it and find more interest in it. So I hope these tips and tools are um, helpful for you. Um, if you need any more or would like some more, please let me know and I can certainly find some and get some more resources. So I hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon.